your overall uh, <laughs> basic uh, how it came together. Uh, what, what did you think of the Steelers? How they approach you? What kind of conversations you have with the organization before signing and since signing? Uh, well, there wasn't much of a conversation before. My agent had just called me when I was back home in Texas and told me, you know, Pittsburgh gave us a really good offer. I said, well, let's go. Two-year deal. Um, so it showed, showed to me that they have, some, they have a lot of interest in me and being here for two years, that meant a lot to me. Uh, so there wasn't much talk before. Now that I got here, I got to meet everybody and talk to everybody, and I'm real excited. Do you have a follow-up? Um, I, has it all, does it mean, do, do, do you, I assume you want to play a wide receiver or like to play a wide receiver. Did, did, was there an opportunity there? Have they discussed that with you or told you, or do you see maybe having an opportunity to play? I know your returning seems to be your, your, your bread and butter. I'm sure that, I mean, that's what they brought me here for, but I mean, we'll see what happens. We haven't talked much about X and O's, but I'm looking forward to just putting on the black and yellow and playing football, no matter where that's at, whether it's at receiver or just returning kicks or whatever I can do to help this team win ball games. I know you had the Pro Bowl year back in 2020. Did you feel like you played at the same level last year? And uh, if not, what do you need to do to you know get back to, to where you were two years ago? Well, 2020, I wasn't in the Pro Bowl. I was a uh, first team all pro. Um, and no, I don't think I played at that same level or else I think I would have been first team all pro again. I didn't put any uh, balls in the end zone. So when you don't score, obviously I didn't play as good as I did in 2020. So I think what I need to do is make it to the end zone. Yeah, just one more follow up about the receiver situation here. The Steelers have three guys leave on Friday. There is an opportunity there waiting for you. Um, did you feel like you grew as a receiver in New England, even though you know you didn't maybe have the production that you would have wanted? Right. Yeah, I learned a lot. I played under a lot of good people. The coach was, coaches were good. They taught me a lot. Um, I think I progressed obviously more than what I did when I came in. I never played the receiver position before. Uh, 2019 season. Um, so obviously, I think I have gotten a whole lot better at it, and uh, we'll see where that goes. Hey Gunner, what, what about running the ball? I don't know if you have too many carries, and I'm talking about out of the jet motion sweep type of action. Is that something you have done or able to do? I've gotten some jet sweeps before, sure. I think I'm able to do it. I don't know. I mean, I that's questions for the coaches. I'm just here to play football. We'll see what spots they plug me in at. You have a follow up? Yeah, just about the return game. How how what makes a good returner? I know obviously yards, touchdowns, but is it something about how you set up things and how you learn how to set up your blocks and how, how long does that take? I mean, is that instinct or is that something you learn? I'd say it's majority instincts. You got to be able to get set up and read punts. The most important thing is just, you know, catching the ball and securing possession for the offense. Um, but yeah, it's instincts and it's game plan and working with the guys who are on that punt return unit or kick return unit and being able to read blocks and run fast. Or anything more? I got one, yeah. Michael. Go ahead. I'm just curious about uh, growing up in Texas. What's that like? And how, how much of a cultural change is it from like New England and even Pittsburgh? Is it, I'm assuming it's much different. Yeah, it is much different. I guess starting with the weather. Uh, but growing up in Texas is, I, the best way I describe it is the best place to grow up in the country. Uh, I love Texas. I always will. I hold that place close to home. And I left, I left uh, for college. I went to Minnesota. So I've been gone for a while, but growing up in Texas sure is different than anywhere else, I'd imagine. Chris Zanamski? Your journey, yeah. talk a little bit more about, you know, coming from a you know, smaller school or an undrafted, all that stuff, and, and making a team. What, what was that like? I mean, obviously New England has a kind of reputation for finding guys that's under the radar or whatever. Was, was that part of it, being able to, to be part of that team? Yeah, it was, it was great. I uh, appreciate the opportunity I was given come out of college, and I think I took that opportunity and I kind of ran with it playing the last three years there. But, you know, I'm a Pittsburgh Steeler now, and I'm really looking forward to this next chapter. Receiver, was the, how hard was that for you? I mean, I assume you're in a position where you'll do whatever you're asked or told at that point, but uh, was it uh, – I mean, you're doing it at the highest level. What kind of adjustment was that for you? 
It's, I, it's a huge adjustment. I, I, I figured it might be easy because I always said playing defensive back is the hardest position on the field because you're moving backwards, people running full speed at you. Uh, but, shoot, I learned real quick that receiver ain't no walk in the park, and uh, there's a lot to learn, and it's, it's a hard position to play, and it was, it was. It was tough switching positions that I've played defense my whole life and now playing offense. But at the end of the day, it's just football, and you got to be able to do all the things that it takes to be good at football, you know, so... How'd you end up as a DB as a kid or in high school or whatever it was, whenever you obviously had good hands, if you could return and that's what they say usually is how you end up a DB, but is there a reason why you ended up on defense, not offense? Yeah. You ended up on defense, not offense. Yeah. I, I just like tackling people, to be honest with you. I was always good at it from a young age and I was never scared to hit nothing. So I think that's how I played defense when I was a kid and I just really loved it. Anything else? Anything else? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Gunner.